What's up, guys? Time to show off a cool mystery build. This will be one of the uh, ones on my page that uh, you won't know that you got it until you received it. So by the time I have this posted uh, online, I'll know what color this is. But we did this so long ago, and I've held on to it for so long. I either need to verify I have the color um, swatch for it or just ask my Cerakote guy what color this is. It's not a color shift, but it's this super cool purple. Okay, Google volume down. And it's it's kind of just difficult to kind of show how purple it is. That kind of helps. So, full Cerakoted 710 case with an engineered band. Um, crown, this is a uh, old style bezel. Like you get these on 420 cases. Um, it's not the ones that I do that are brass. And then uh, milled case back. This has the um, uh, stock case back that's been milled and then Cerakoted in the purple and then engraved. Obviously the clasp is also uh, done the same way. Kraken engraved crown, case back, and info on the clasp. Um, the whole dial was done this way, but I didn't like how it was a little harder to read. So I sanded off all of the Cerakote that was on the Kraken actually went back through and removed the Cerakote inside on these as well so that there was a little bit of <clears throat> something to kind of d differentiate there and then I went back through and I loomed the bezel on this. Um, custom painted hands, they're done in a purple that's very similar to this. I happen to just have, I remember that we had done them. Uh, and a silver seconds hand. I didn't have a purple done up that way. Um, stainless steel movement holder in there. Bezel will turn left, it'll turn right. It is on there super tight, so it will really only move if, if you want it to. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it where it put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not gonna be very active, make sure you wind it a little bit before you put it on just so that you keep time throughout the day. That mixed with the rotor movement, which you can't see the rotor with this case back on, um, will keep your time throughout the day. So you'll just back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn like this. I often just go back and forth. The back side doesn't do any kind of wind, but it's a lot easier to just crank these out real quick. Four or five uh, seconds of this. That mixed with your rotor movement will run you through the day, but if you're not going to be active at all, like driving for long distances or whatever, you can wind this thing up for 15-20 seconds um, and max out the 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you're going to pull it to the one and only click, and you can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going on you, and you also notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure through the stem into the movement. Also, the clutch system disengages once it's screwed down, so if you have any impact into the crown, it does not transfer into your keyless works or into your movement. Okay, Google, what time is it? 12.48 p.m. When you're good, you're going to set your time. Push it over. Get it out of that time setting and then wind it down. And that is the build. As with every build, you're gonna get matching beads. Entirely up to you whether you wear these or not. And these are, this is also gonna come in a almost perfectly matched 3D printed Kraken treasure box. Um, watch holder. This will come with watch cleaner, which is good on all glass and metal parts to this watch as a whole, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue and we'll come with a microfiber for that. And then your other piece in here, you're gonna have some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like poly watch for your acrylic glass because you can scratch it. If you do, you'll put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it out using your color matched microfiber. If the scratch is up and down, just go left and right filling the scratch, haze it, 
buff it out, see if it's gone. If it's not, revisit it 20 minutes later. You need to let it solidify, kind of like drywall mud. You're filling that scratch back in. So that's the build. If it's going to you, congrats. I've never done a color like this. I don't even know what this color is right now, but I will find out before I get it posted. Um, so you're getting a super custom, unique, one-off build. Um, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks.